Hello everyone, this is Richard G, and it is time for the center path of Tannen Training Dojo. So, it doesn't matter which side you take, this place is very well mirrored, but it revolves the same concept as the east and west paths to start out. You make your way to the rooms corresponding to the side, either west or east. I'm on the west side, and normally this is the one you would take to go on. But, I just accidentally hit that switch, but that's going to be the switch this time to take. So, let's hit it and go. I kind of screwed that up a little bit, but if we run fast enough, we can make it. And actually, it was on the opposite side, so let's try again. I took the wrong warp. Okay, and this time we're doing it from this side. So, we do that, and then we... Oh, shoot. And made it. So you need something to go over water for this to work. Otherwise, you're not able to go to the center. So a flying type will do you well. And this will take you to the center warps and move on. Now for Tanner Chaining Dojo Center. You're going to notice there's different scenery. This time there's more of a sky looking appearance. Some of the Pokemon will be the same, but there will be also some differences. As you saw, there was a Drapion. That was not the same as the East and West. And the music is a bit darker, so it definitely gives the vibe that this is the hardest of the paths. And it's best for training, but also the hardest, so enter at your own risk if you're in your 60s. 70s, you should be able to handle this still. 60s really depends on type advantage. There are no secret rooms, as per the rest of the parts. I used the wrong Pokemon to switch into. And here now we have Tyranitar for the Sandstream. So Sandstream is still in the center. And as said before, Cloud9 only protects you from the spawning of the floor. And now comes Grudge Trap. So this center part is definitely more dangerous. And Sandstorm is going to be inevitable, so even if you have Cloud9, if you're not using it, it will spawn the Sandstorm in the middle of your floor, usually. There's Cacturn, so... In green, prevent it from moving, which helps, but it has other tricks up its sleeve. And as always, there are Tyrogue eggs in the wall, so that doesn't change. And it's only Tyrogue. Right now, we're just trying to get through. So far, Dredigan's handling it well, but then again, it is level 81, which helps. 80s aren't always the greatest option to train here. You can do it, but it's not the most efficient. Unless it's your favorite place to train, which means go right ahead. I'm not discouraging it. And how about that? An egg in the wall. Well, isn't that nice? There's our sandstorm, so the Tyranitars are out with a vengeance. They're actually seemingly to be more common than the Hippowdons. So you're not getting away from sandstorm. Actually, that is Hippowdons, so... Okay, that would explain the more sandstorms. Both Tyranitar and Hippowdon can spawn. So yeah. Nice. More sandstorm. Good thing I have my safety goggles, so this could be quite perilous. Now we can see some traps for this floor. And there's Crobat with the wide guard once again. Weavile is a new entry with pressure to really take out your PP. So, a little bit of a threat. But if you have a bunch of ethers, max ethers, not a problem. Especially when they spawn on the floor. So, this place, while you are limited to bringing only 30 items, it does give you supplies inside. Theoretically, you could enter with nothing and come out just fine. There's the wide guard once again. Good thing that only affects AoEs, not sprays. And here, also on 30F, I guess since we're here, here's another little tidbit. There is a silver key chamber. We just gotta find it. 
and it is in the center only. So don't go to east or west looking for a secret room, or secret room, a silver key chamber because they won't be there. Center only. Now if we could just find it, that'd be nice. There it is. Silver key chamber. Let's grab our box. Glittery box. So the silk this time will be the black silk if we can get it. And the other items include, you know, your typical lumberry, revival herb, that kind of stuff, you know. Very basic. We'll see what we get, though, in the end. And Steelix is a bulky Pokemon, indeed. Not good for me. And it almost killed itself with my rough skin. While this is a nice training spot, I do need to move this along. So let's find those stairs. Which I think I did, I just gotta warp to them again. You know, try to get lucky. Oh, losing belly. It's just a quest to find the stairs. Because after 30F, things get even more interesting. As if they haven't been already, though. Hmm. I'm not getting very lucky with my warps. Hmm. Let's just get lucky, shall we? Because I honestly don't know where those stairs are. How long is this going to take? There we go. Way up here. Okay, so now to 31. Same Pokemon for the most part. This is where, as the previous routes and paths... This is where the little change happens. Pretty much the same in appearance and everything. However, a recruit is added. In the center, 31 up, is Halucha. So, yeah, we can find our potential recruitable Halucha. I do believe these are going to be harder to find, though, than the throw and sock in the previous part, so we won't fully expect to find one of those, but hey, it's possible. Ooh, gotta revive there. Verloom with the status conditions. Good thing I have my dragon gem, so I'm blocking it. Toxic spikes, because why not? And there is, an, there is a TM up there. Low sweep. There's our low sweep. These can spawn in the other parts as well, but here it's pretty much wall or sky. In the other parts, it's in the water. So, respectively on that. And there's a different TM. Oh, wait, that's another low sweep, actually, because that is sky, technically. Alright, so there's another low sweep. And now Tyranitar's again. Fun. But at least we're making up for things by finding the stairs very quickly. And it seems we did not find a recruitable Halucha. I will do one final sweep of this floor just to check. But chances are we will not find one. Halucha is harder to find than the other two. I'm actually surprised by the lack of spawns. They've all got to be somewhere. Um... Hi, Halucha. I honestly didn't even see it. Well, there we go, Halucha. And I actually recruited this one. Well, I'm going to have to replay that when I'm editing or just looking through it because I did not even see that. I just saw something in attack. I didn't think it was Halucha, but hey, there we go. So now... 36F, here we go to the center boss. So, it's Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan working together with Hitmontop. So now we must fight all of these guys at once. Which honestly is going to be a pain. 
Okay. That was brutal. Let's... They have very good teamwork. They have their regular moves and then hit them on top with the whole... Well, wide guards. So... That's tough to get around. You basically just have to single them out. While they're not guaranteed to drop anything, the drops for Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan remain the same. And Hitmonchan... Well, of course, Hitmonchan with the extra item that we found in the other video. And then Hitmontop is just also the two tiny mushrooms, the big mushrooms, so all three of those drop those. And then Hitmonchan with that TM power-up punch. So there you go. That's that. Those three bosses, they work very well together. They, You don't want to fight them together. You want to split them up and conquer. That's the best method to take them out. Now, if you're wondering if they could just see you, yeah, they can. Not very far all the way across, but they can, for the most part, see you if they're in the center. So running, I'd suggest kind of go to the walls on the side, split them up, and then attack. Because otherwise, they're just going to combo you very hard, as you saw happen to me. It's just best to split. All right, so we are out, and now we've got something to do. We got a box to open, and we got an egg that'll hatch pretty soon here, too. So we'll just kind of wait on that. Which I'm surprised it hasn't hatched yet, but okay. And there it is. Tyrogue. It's always Tyrogue. So we'll just look at Bullet Punch, Mock Punch, High Jump Kick, Mind Reader. Boom. Hi, Zatu. Okay, so there we go with that. And our items... Or item... Is... Lumberry. See? It's just one of those random crappy items. We could have gotten a black silk for dark types, but no, we get a Lumberry. So yeah, there's that. There's the rev reviving items. You know, Revival Herb, Revive, that stuff. So... Typical secret room stuff, or secret room, why do I keep saying that? Silver key chamber spots. So, yeah, that's pretty much what you got there for that. Potential black silk, we didn't get it, but hey, got a Halucha, and we got a Tyrogue. You know, actually, if you look back at all the videos, I found every single recruit there is in, that, in this dungeon, in every part. So, congrats on a successful dungeon. So, that was... If this is the last video you're watching, this is the last Tanner Training Dojo video from Metal Mountain. So, what else is there to say? This is Richard G, and may the dragons be with you.